What's up guys and welcome back for some more Sly 2 Band of Thieves, I'm RBM276. In the last part, we took down episode 7 and in this part we're going to take on episode 8. So, enjoy this cinematic. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the claw gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. Cy Cooper and the gang in... Anatomy for Disaster. Ho ho ho. This is it, guys. The final episode of this game. So let's go to Thiefnet and buy all of our good stuff. This is the last of it, and this is required to 100% the game. So it's like one out. And there's a shiny pocket over there already. So if you guys haven't noticed, I'm using my new mic. Since a lot of you requested me to use my new mic for episode 8, so hope you're happy. Anyways, do have a small nugget, I had to kill him. Let's move on. Since our mission is way the hell over there, let's hop up here. Well, we might want to avoid that bottle. Avoid the bottle. Thank you. We couldn't avoid that guy. What a shame. But voltage attack in your face. Goodbye. Running. Because I feel like it. Alright, so where are we going next? We're going up here. Whoa, not yet, not yet, not yet. <coughs> yeah, I'm feeling better enough to record. I'm still not at 100%, but... Yeah, if you guys watched the September 9th update, you'd know why. Sorry. Repositioning this mic kind of sucks. to get away <laughs> but in any case let's uh try okay wrong way or <laughs> we're supposed to go that way so once again let's try and uh, we don't have to climb up this thing we can go on the rail right over here there we go then climb up this thing defeat this guard first grab these coins and start the mission. My instruments have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find it. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. <coughs> to build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. I'm sure you do, Sly. I'm sure you do. This part always makes me nervous. But we're paragliding down anyways. There we go. Smooth landing. Get up the pole, Sly. Thank you. So, let's head all the way over here. Smack this, and head inside. 
Let's see what awaits us. I, I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast! Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. You got that right. Let's try to take one of these electric paths for us. Oh, so close. I well, got it. Magnetic inducers seem to be holding <laughs> the clockwork parts together. Yeah, if you hear me cough a lot, guys, I'm sorry. I'm still not at 100%, but I feel better enough to record. So, mech eggs. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. Radioactive, radioactive. I'm sorry, that's a good song. I like it. Shut it. A lot of people like it too, so can't really complain, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, whoa. Let's try and get up to the next platform thingy. Right over here. Now, side note. Whee! Okay, let's take a pick of Clockwork's head. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. Sly, I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. You think so? Well, let's go find out. Shall we? Neela? Neela's here too! Oh, she's dead. I can't believe it! She must have been working with Arpeggio all along! She kinda has that face if you like peek at her in the shower like, Ew, stop looking at me! Well, let's take a pic of this damn bird. There he is! The mastermind behind this blimp and the source of all our problems! I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild Clockwork, and it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull Clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the <coughs> inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. Alrighty, this mission is going to be very, very tricky. So, be cautious at all costs. So let's pick bucket this guy in the corner. Key number one is mine. Ha 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 ha. And, oh god, no, 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 no. Key number two. Thank you. Okay, can I get around here without getting caught? Just look barely. Just barely. Whew. Not getting caught today. Just come up here. Get behind this guy. Whoa, maybe a little too close. No, no, sir, sir. I didn't mean to touch your butt. I didn't mean. To, I did not mean to touch your butt. I'm sorry. I didn't know you didn't like being touched. Don't you make a horn me? I don't remember you ever being a hair cross. Bitch. Haha, ha, you can't catch me. Ha 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 That's better. Go back to marching. Your little Nazi march and shit. Meanwhile, you're goodbye. What? I say goodbye. Get out of here. 
No, 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 no. I haven't pickpocketed your key yet. Get out. Turn back around. There's nothing to see here. There's absolutely nothing to see here. Pickpocket your key. That guy just committed suicide. Ha ha ha. No, 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 Get out. Get out. Oh, get out. Oh, and I commit suicide. Great. Damn it. Fortunately for us, we don't have to restart the mission. Yep, all we need to do is, uh, for right now... I'm on top of this so we don't get caught paragliding down because I'm a boss and shit. Let's get up here and put the keys in. Which will slow down the platforms. <clears throat> now that the inducer decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. Consider it done, Bentley. <coughs> Sai already said it, but... <coughs> I'm gonna say it anyways. So, what we need to do is climb up on each side. I think this is uh, the right pool. No, not it's this one. It's this one. There's four of them, and then after that, there's going to be a long cutscene. So... After the fourth one, I'm going to leave it at that, so you guys can enjoy the that and the PowerPoint presentation to come. So, once we get that one, we might want to do this. Not that. Get up there as fast as I can. Can I get there? Can I get there? Can I get there? Can I get there? Yes, I can. Sweet. Well. Guess we'll wait on number three. Come on. I ain't got all day. Ugh. Guess I just gargle. Alright, after number four, that's going to do it for this part. So if you liked it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to sub to Multifusion Gamers. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch TV, and like my Facebook page. In the next part... We're going to get to 30 bottles. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Job complete. Enjoy this cutscene. See you guys next time. Bye. What's all this then? The magnets have been reversed. Hey, but... I chilled. It seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. <laughs> Excellent! Sly Cooper! Of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew! All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal! So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members, all the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Koopa, what kept clockwork alive for thousands of years? 
he was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Neela, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper guy, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous! You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced clock lock. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there'll be no stopping clock lock. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past. But they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. <laughs>